From Vision to Reality, the Consulate General of Israel in Los Angeles, in cooperation with the Citizens Empowerment Center in Israel, hosted an event at Paramount Studios in celebration of the 60th anniversary of Israel. The event honored renowned Hollywood producer Arnon Milchin with the Legacy of Citizens Lifetime Achievement Award. And JLTV was there for the VIP arrivals. Empowering youth, it's a big thing. It's not about just young replacing all. It's about staying young in your head and thinking young. To be a part of, of celebrating uh, someone like Mr. Milchin, that's a, that's a great thing. I'm happy to be here. I'm proud. I think it's very important whatever it is that we can do to alter the people's people's perception in the world about what Israel is is very important so events like this are, are crucial to grow out of that land what they've been able to build is nothing short of a miracle it's important it's uh, heartwarming and we just say thank you to all those who organized that evening for us Alan, he's a number one supporter of Israel you know he would give his life for Israel Israel is a very warm place. I think um, when it comes to tourism, like we all hope and pray for peace every day. From vision to reality. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jacob Dayanen. I'm the Consul General of the State of Israel. And the State of Israel is so happy to host you here tonight. Please help me welcome Mr. Yair Lapid. Everybody came here to thank Arnon for the things we do know. I came here to thank Arnon for the things we don't know and for the fact I have a place to go to. Honored by the Citizens Empowerment Center in Israel, Arnon represents, first and foremost, the beautiful face of Israel. To my friend Arnon Milchen for his outstanding contribution to education in Israel to make a difference in the lives of our younger generation. I would also like to thank Mr. Rizak Nazorian, Parvez, and the Citizens Empowerment Center for their important contribution in strengthening Israel's democratic fabric and educating the younger generation for social responsibility and civic action. The most important thing is that he's always remembered uh, remembered his country, remembered his roots, remembered his friends, and I consider myself lucky to be one of them. So should you. This town has its share of people who make great movies and great TV, but nobody does it like Arnon. Imagine the Middle East as one region with a, I don't want to say the F word, but with the F energy, and we're going to give this region a situation where the highest paid uh, function is a teacher. The highest paid teachers in the world will be in the Middle East. And imagine the economical power that the Middle East, in peace, could give to this world. I really would like to thank you for being the first person to say, you know what, you're a champion, you can do it. And you know, this guy, he, he, he's a role model. He's my role model, and he can be anyone's role model. So definitely give it up for Arnaud again. This is his night, and <laughs> thank you. Today we celebrate God's promise coming to fruition and the Jewish people as a light unto the world becoming a reality. I was blown away by the history, by the feeling of just being in Israel. I went to the Wailing Wall, I went to Tel Aviv, I went to Masada. I floated in the Dead Sea, I covered myself in mud. You're talking to a man who can't shake hands. Throughout their history, the Jewish people have faced years of persecution, and yet still, God's promise holds true, and Israel remains. I therefore formally declare Israel admitted to membership in the United Nations. Happy birthday, dear Israel. When the wicked carried us away in captivity, the choir for us a song.
all hands and stand tall in the Middle East, please. Yeah, we need please, everybody. What? Now put your hands in the air. Yeah, and make it clap. Tonight, we also recognize the vision of one man, the founder and the soul of CCI, the Citizens Empowerment Center in Israel. My father, Isaac Parviz Nazarian. Always guided by our prayers that Israel will be a place where personal and national dreams could be fulfilled. Thank you for joining us tonight.